Hey, what's going on, Ladder and Success family? It's me, Festus Samoye, with another episode of Ladder and Success. So, we're here today continuing in the Free Ed series. That's right, the Free Ed series. In this series, we're talking about ways that you can get a lot of very good free information, college level courses, uh, college level resources, uh, especially for those who are just graduating high school, uh, those who are entering college, those who are thinking about going back to school. Right now, you know, summer's upon us and some decisions gotta be made. Of course, you're gonna have fun, but at the same time, if you're not progressing in life, it's really hard to have fun, right? And so we don't wanna be one of those individuals who just kinda, uh, kinda just drags through life trying to make life look fun, trying to make life look interesting in order to kind of combat the fact that, you know, we're not really progressing the way that we want to. So anyway, I got some really good news. The book, A Ladder in Success, is available right now on Amazon. It's available on barnesandnoble.com. It's also available via our website, www.ladderinsuccess.com. Click shop and um, go ahead and place your order there. You could also order our uh, college scholarship quarterly guide and also uh, our free ebook, uh, 10 Things Every Student Should Know Before Heading to College. So let's go ahead and hop right into this. I got my notes here. Uh, hopefully you're ready to take notes. Uh, this time we're talking about free ed financial. Free ed financial. Of course, financial is one of the subsections in the Ladder and Success book. And so we're just talking about how can you get free financial education, right? Financial information. Uh, I'm gonna share a couple quick resources. Uh, one that I'm actually personally using right now because I'm learning about investing a little bit more and inv investing in a different uh, market and a different uh, area, and that is Investopedia. In the book, Ladder to Success, we talk about Investopedia as a free uh, education resource or good resource to go to for education. And right now they're offering basic uh, uh, financial classes and we have to understand the difference between finance and economics, right? Finance is the actual numerical part, the money part, the accounting part, right? Whereas economics is the behavioral part, the thought processes and the, uh, and the uh, social processes that, um, that lead us to the financial aspect. And so we can't use one or operate in one area without using and operating in the other area as well. Does that make sense? So uh, I say, does that make sense a lot? Anyway, so Investopedia teaches you about the financial side of things, right? They teach you about uh, what markets are out there. Talk about compound interest and different uh, uh, financial terms that help us to understand moolah, money, right? Talking about that money, right? Uh, one of my favorite commercials is uh, when the progressive commercial, you know, the guy says, uh, uh, talk about that money, talk about that money. Anyway, <clears throat> so that's a side note. So Investopedia, right now I'm learning about a very specific uh, uh, a way of investing that a friend introduced me to. And so I was like, look, I need to know more about this. I tried it out a little bit. And so I need to get it down pat. And so I'm doing a free uh, Investopedia, Investopedia article on that particular topic. And so I'm reading a couple of them to kind of find out more information, right, before I dig right into it. That way nobody could uh, lead me up a stream without a paddle um, in terms of my investment. Next, John Hope Bryant. John Hope Bryant. And John Hope Bryant, I love John Hope Bryant. I love his work. I love what he's doing. I love his drive. I love his vision. Uh, I, I really love the work that he's doing. And, and John Hope Bryant is actually uh, operating different areas. Out of First and foremost, he's addressing things through Operation Hope, which Operation Hope is basically the umbrella for a lot of other projects that he has running for what he calls the Civil Rights Movement. We all need to be part of and do our part in the Civil Rights Movement. And that is educating ourselves financially for the future, right? So <clears throat> let's talk about his work and what it means. So part of his work is economic, talking about the behaviors, talking about uh, the different uh, methodologies for creating uh, uh, better financial situations, but then part of it is financial. Uh, one thing that he teaches on the uh, elementary and, and in the school level 
is what he calls Hope in a Box. Or, uh, and Hope in a Box is basically a program that teaches young children uh, in middle school and, 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 and so forth, uh, uh, different grade levels, how to create and start businesses. And out of that, the best business idea, they get to pitch it almost Shark Tank style, and they get funded uh, for that. And part of that is he teaches how to start businesses for $500 or less. So that is a great thing, even if you're not in middle school or whatever, and you're an adult and you're saying, how can I start a business? Look at what he's doing with uh, 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 Hope in a Box. Now, he, got, he has another program called Hope Inside, and Hope Inside is, is, is moving really well. I like what's going on there, and basically with that program, he's going into banks and financial institutions to teach people how to raise their credit scores. I think that's phenomenal. He's trying to get people to go from 500 credit scores to 700 credit scores, and he wants to create 700 credit scores communities. And I think that's a phenomenal thing because um, not necessarily because I agree with credit, I'm not a big credit person, right? But I think that it's phenomenal because you need to know how the whole entire game works. You need to know you're in an economic system and this system has different levers on it and you need to understand how those different levers work and how they impact you. And so that's why I think his course is a really good course. Uh, he also uh, teaches, uh, based on some of his mom's principles, uh, uh, what I believe in and agree with is, is, is Dave Ramsey's principles. It's, it's basically paying down uh, your debt, living debt free. Uh, now, uh, that's a whole other thing. We're going to talk about that right now, and we're going to talk about Dave Ramsey, right? Dave Ramsey offers a lot of free information via his podcast, via his website, www.daveramsey.com. Phenomenal information about personal economics, right? Uh, or what's also known as uh, microeconomics. So basically, in a nutshell, dealing with you, dealing with your community, dealing with your friends, how do you manage your money, right? And Dave Ramsey lays out what he calls the baby step principles, right? And there's seven baby step principles. And the vast majority of people who listen to Dave Ramsey, who abide by his program, they do end up not only paying off their debt in a very short period of time, but they end up saving a substantial amount of money. And, and some people, if they work really hard at it, become millionaires. Quite a few people, actually. And I agree with his program, not necessarily uh, because, um, uh, you know, for any uh, particular reason about who he is. Uh, even though I love Dave Ramsey, he's a phenomenal guy. I've been able to see him in person and get his autograph. I got his autograph. It's phenomenal. Uh, probably like three times now. But... Uh, but because the principles work for anybody, right? You could be 10 and start using his principles. You could be 15 or 20 or 30 or 50 and start using his principles and those principles work. And so I'm a big principle person, live by principles. It makes decision, decisions a lot easier. So that's why I agree with that. Uh, uh, finally, let's talk about just a couple simple things, right? Do what you can afford, okay? Do what you can afford. What does that mean? That means if right now is not the right time to go to college for you, right? Do what you can afford. Get your free education. Start lining things up so that college becomes a very reasonable option for you. And again, there are legitimate reasons for not going to college. There is no legitimate reason for not having an education. There are legitimate reasons for not going to college. There are no legitimate reasons for not having an education. If you can't afford to go to college right now, take a, a gap year, what's called a gap year. It's basically uh, between uh, the transition from high school to college. Take some time off, but don't take some time off and just sit at the house. Don't take some time off and just go flip burgers and complain about flipping burgers. Get a solid game plan together so that when you approach your, your education, when you approach college, whatever higher level option you choose, and I'm, I'm big on the alternative options, I'm big on the trade schools, I'm big on the community college, I love those things. Go listen to what they're talking about in the programs that they're offering, it's phenomenal. As you develop a game plan, right, um, know that you can execute that game plan, okay? People pay you for what you put in between your ears, what you can do with what's in between your ears. People pay you for what you can do with what's in between your ears. Now, if you're sitting down at home and just learning how to flip burgers, people are going to pay you for flipping burgers. That's it. But if you 
can um, step your game up, become a culinary artist, like make the best burger possible, right? People will pay you more for a better burger. It's just that simple. And I don't know if you guys have gone out and had a really good burger at some places, um, you know, whether it's a steakhouse or, or something like that. Uh, I love to go to Fleming's here in Houston. They have a really good uh, burger at Fleming's, right? Uh, and the thing is, most people say, oh, you know, I wouldn't pay uh, 10 and $15 for one hamburger, right? Uh, but if it's good enough, people will pay that, right? And so go try that great burger, okay? And as, as you try that great burger, then go have a you know McDonald's burger. You'll see a big difference, right? And so the thing is, if you're gonna be a person who's working uh, uh, in the food industry, be the best in the food industry. Don't just think, oh, you know what? This is all I can do for now. This is all I can do for now. Granted, this might be what's happening right now, but also you have to think about the future, right? You might be in Burger King right now or McDonald's right now or wherever you're at right now, but also plan for your future and, and start implementing the steps to get there, right? I hope this series was very helpful to you. Again, the book uh, Ladder and Success is available on, on Amazon, it's available on Barnes & Noble, it's available uh, on the website. You could just Google it, ladderandsuccess.com, Festa Samoye. Um, and uh, I hope it blesses you. It's eleven ninety nine. Mama says it's gonna get better.